Towns, the Big Lord. Hi guys, Latifa here. That was a disaster. Welcome on another episode of Bringing Nigeria to Your Screen like never before. Today, I have something very intriguing and something that is fun to me every time I think about it and very, very, very ideal to my culture. To start with, the name of this place is called Aulo Market. It is located in Moshin Olosha. Moshin Olosha is a very famous place in Lagos. And this market, or this part of the market, all you can find there is treatment ingredients. That is, the traditional way of treatment and the things you can use when you want to carry out treatment the traditional way. And you can see calabash, you can see live animals, because we're still even going more into the live animal part, where you see the usage of animals, whether live or dead, for treatments of different causes. And some people also use this as a way to practice some traditional things, which happens to be part of what we call voodoo. This is a dry frog. Attack him! Hold up! Hold up! A dry frog? Yes. Don't be scared. There's nothing in it, but I can't hold the life one. Shabbat, I can hold the dry one too. You keep doing it like this. Like, very sexy. Dry frog. Oh. And what do they use this for? I don't know. Very complex. She said it's very complex. Basically, whenever there are treatments that they need to do and they require some time to put some of these things. We have dry frog, dried snake, birds, and chicken that are used, mice, rats that are used for this thing. And this sometimes has to go with traditional beliefs and religion. So there are some times when they incorporate traditional system and medicinal way, that is the herbal medicinal way together. And this is one of those cases here. If you understand what I'm saying, I really, 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 <laughs> few you should understand because i think i tried to explain well so guys she's bringing us a dried chameleon i have not seen a live chameleon now i'm seeing a dried chameleon <laughs> and, okay let's wait for the because even this one down here is scaring me looking at it i can't even look down this one definitely died while swimming. Imagine. Wow. So here she comes with our dried chameleon. But this is not a chameleon. What is this one? A bat. Guys, this is a life. Sorry, it's not life. It's dead. It's dead. A dried bat. But it has to be well preserved. So, but this is a bat, right? Yes. Like bat, batman, bat. Yes. No, not batman, bat. Bat as in bat, B A T. Bat, bat, bat. Can you spread the body or it will break? No, it will break. It's dead. It's dead. And dried, so it and dried, so it would break. But this has to be well preserved, or else it's going to decompose. Can you and... give us at least one thing they use this for? Just guess. Oh. Different things, you know. Whatever, anything. Blah blah blah. Voodoo. Yeah. Voodoo. Yes, exactly. Voodoo. But if you start explaining now, some people start doing it behind our back with different, or. Uh, I don't know. Maybe they will misunderstand and start doing something different. To see. So that's why you don't want to explain so much about yes, them. Yes, exactly. Because we heard about one case that um, a boy killed his girlfriend over a list that he saw on Facebook. Something like that. So, so they stop explaining things like this to people. 
to outsiders. Okay, so guys, I think we should do well just by looking at it and understanding how it works. We don't really, really need to know how it works, but we just need to know what <laughs> what works with what. But the process, I think we'll leave it to the professionals. Bats are blind, no eyes. They don't have eyes. Guys, I know why bats are blind now. Why? I took that home. <laughs> because they don't have eyes. You just told me now. Yes, they don't have. They don't have any. This is very educative for me. I don't know if you're watching this. You know all of this already. If you know all of it already, yes, I now know it too. So we're on the same line. For the people that don't know it, that we're just knowing for today, I'm happy for the both of us. At least we know new things today. So let's just see what we have to see today. I hope you are enjoying it as much as I am enjoying it. And please, if you've not subscribed to my channel, I think this is the best time to do that. The first best time was probably a year ago. The second best time is right now. Subscribe to my channel. Why? Because I get to show you things you don't know before, especially in the local sense. This is us locally. So this one is what? A dry chameleon. So this is a dry chameleon. Yes. I think I should be able to overcome my fear. I should be able to hold this. Yes. Dry chameleon, dry, dry chameleon. Yes. <laughs> Jesus. When it's dead, there's no change of color. It doesn't change color. Yeah, it doesn't change color when yes. it's dead. Yes. But really. But it looks cute though. This looks like a normal toy you could find. But this is weird, I. A giant chameleon. So no. that's all we have to show today. Yes. No, come and see this one. Come and see this one. This one is an animal too. Yes. What is this one? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you a dried edge hog. So this is one of the things they use here for about things yes when you hold this you must be very very careful very very like every part of it is very very sharp it has thorns on it yes very sharp so it is a hedgehog and it is dead and dry but still it causes harm because if you touch it too much you get pierced by the thorns at the back yes and if you get pierced it's kind of very painful sha so guys that's it that is it i've seen an i don't know i've never seen an hedgehog before this is my first time seeing an hedgehog and i'm seeing the first time hedgehog that is dead so i guess that calls for something i leave <laughs>